And to sports now, where the Nigerian under-17 women's team, the Flamingos, qualified for the semi-final of the FIFA under-17 Women's World Cup, beating the USA 4-3 on penalties. The gallant girls saw their first half lead erased by the USA, and at full time the score stood at one goal apiece, which led to a penalty shootout. Defender Blessing Edafe, whose penalty gave Nigeria a first half lead, scored the decisive kick in the shootout to send Nigeria into the semi final to take on the winner of the quarter final tie between Colombia and Tanzania. Let's now join Adeni Ajishafe for more sports news. The third Asan Amin Tennis Championship taking place at the sports complex of Abubakar Tafawa Balewa Stadium in Bauchi is winding up. The tennis tournament, which started on the 15th of October, has seen action from tennis players from northeast states of Gombe, Taraba, Adamawa and Bauchi, the whole state. Only two out of the 34 tennis players participating at the tournament, which end on Sunday, are female. Tennis players in the Northeast are having swell time, showcasing lots of enthusiasm in the competition as they vie for honors. Meanwhile, veteran tennis player Hassan Amin has called for more participation in tennis, which is a sport that doesn't have age bracket. He's hoping that more support is given to tennis growth in Nigeria. Hassan noted that tennis stimulates one's mental balance as it makes people more active in developing in their various careers. Youths in the north, northern Nigeria to embrace this sport, especially tennis, yeah. to take it as a whole, to take it as a game that they can, yes, let them be the prof a prof a professionals in that particular game, so that they can end their living through that, this game in some part of Nigeria, especially in the northern Nigeria, we don't know anything about this one. Very few people know about how to invest in sport in northern Nigeria. But in the other part of the country, they are investing in sport, especially in the field of football and what have you. Yausa Yahaya, an experienced coach in tennis, says Nigerians should venture into sport, especially tennis, to keep fit. This long tennis is a shot, of which everybody knows. And uh, long tennis is a game that uh, is even better than football in fashion money. Uh, this is the third series of uh, this uh, competition here in Vulture State. An aspiring tennis player at the tournament, Janet Kalu, urged female players to choose tennis as a profession. It's actually a game that, that has to do with the mental mindset and then it builds up the brain to a level of reasoning and accuracy. Aside from the fact that it's an exercise that makes you keep fit, tennis is a very, very, very good game that I would like them to to show more interest in. That's why even the fact that I'm, yeah, doing, I'm not discouraged because I know what I'm going to achieve from it. And I would like them to also have that mindset. The final games will come up on Sunday with doubles and singles matches. That's Sport News. I am Adeni Ajishafe.